Hello, today's topic is methods of film analysis and film interpretation, general information and background of film. Well, the methods we use to analyze a film are closely related to those used to analyze literature, nevertheless films are multimedia. They are visual media made for viewers. Films take command of more of our senses to create special atmospheres, feelings or to bring out emotions. Along with the literary elements such as plot, setting, characterization, structure and theme which make up the text or screenplay, there are many different film techniques used to tell a story or narrative. Attention is paid to sound, music, lighting, camera angles and editing. What is important is to focus on how all the elements are used together in making a good film. Film contents. First of all, you would pay attention to the film facts. Here you see the list of important film facts, like title of film, production date, nationality, actors, director, producer, etc. We continue our analysis with the genre. What main genre does the film fall under? Romantic, historical, detective, thriller, adventure, horror film, science fiction, documentary, etc. What subgrouping does the film fall under? Action or comedy or tragedy, war, westerns, etc. As for the setting, it is a description of where and when the story takes place. Here we can answer the following questions. Does it take place in the present, past or future? What aspects of setting are we made aware of? For example, geography, weather conditions, physical environment, time of day, etc. Where are we in the opening scene? Where are we in the last scene? As for the plot and structure, try to outline the most important sequences. How is the plot structured? Is it linear, chronological, or is it presented through flashbacks? Are there several plots running parallel in the film? How is suspense built up? And do any events foreshadow what is to come? As for the conflict, conflict or tension is usually the heart of the film and is related to the main characters usually. Well, how would you describe the main conflict? Is it internal where the character suffers inwardly? Is it external caused by the surroundings or environment the main character finds himself or herself in? Characterization usually deals with how the characters are described through dialogue, by the way they speak, maybe physical appearance, thoughts and feelings, interaction, the way they act towards other characters. Are they static characters who do not change? Do they develop by the end of the story? What type of characters are they? What qualities stand out? Or are they stereotypes? Are the characters believable? Etc. One of the main points deals with narrator and point of view. So who is the narrator? He is the person telling the story. Pay attention if they are narrating the film and who is he? Through whose eyes the story is being told? Through whose eyes does the story unfold? If the story is told in the first person? If the story is told through an off-screen narrator? Answering these questions, you can understand what is the main role of narrator in the film. Imagery. Usually, imagery in films are the elements used to create pictures in our minds. They may include some symbols, when something stands not only for itself, but also stands for something else. What images are used in the film? For example, color, objects. Can you find any symbols in the film? When we discuss the theme of the film, we answer the question, what are the universal ideas depicted in the film? In other words, what is it about in general? As for the resource and relevance. Resource. In what resource did you watch the movie? Free or paid resource? The relevance of the film. Is the movie relevant today? So now, let me present you a brief analysis of the film Sun About Me Never Tat. So you see here the general information about the film. C. 
So, this film was released last year. The story of friendship between a young guy, Altan, and an old man named Baibal. The action takes place in the vastness of the far north, where Altan came as a result of a quarrel with his father. Here, a young man meets an old man who came to the north to die. In the process of communication, the guy learns that in his youth, the old man's daughter disappeared. Altan has a goal to find the missing daughter and prolong Baibal's life. Правильно говорю? Да, много чего. Ха, например, деньги. Много денег. Ха, и что ты хочешь купить за деньги? Все, что мне захочется. The film's style of storytelling is light and casual. The film skillfully alternates between comic and dramatic scenes, classical and fashionable youth techniques such as screen life, philosophical reasoning, and childish tomfoolery. Therefore, it is pleasant to watch it for any viewer of any age. Отложи, пожалуйста, телефон и ешь нормально. А там, кстати, там тоже есть интернет и очень быстрый. Какая тебе разница, где копаться в своем телефоне? Верно? Все, Миша, никуда он не поедет. Мой тебе совет: прекращай баловать сына. The foundation for the whole story was the misunderstanding of two different generations of each other. The older generation is responsible for the young, who do not want to make contact with their parents, not because the new or the old is somehow bad, they are simply too different. Какие новости? Не спеши так. Просто сейчас уже поздно. Скорее всего, завтра, послезавтра будет много просмотров, будет инфа. Так что лучше поспи. Most of today's old people are alien to smartphones, social networks and other technological delights of 21st century. They lived in different worlds and without outside help it is very difficult for them to adapt to the present. The whole picture rests in an amicable way that is in the dialogue of two main characters. The characters not only get attached as you watch them, but you can also feel what makes them feel like family. They are completely different. They are images and characters work in contrast. They support and help each other. We observe such an unusual friendship between two generations. The conflict between fathers and children, older and younger generations, is timeless. This conflict is brilliantly presented and not stereotype in this film. Здравствуйте. Меня значит зовут Байбалом. Давай громче. Погромче говорю. Надо громче. Ага. Как скажешь? Theme of the film is kindness and understanding, responsiveness and empathy, willingness to selflessly come to the rescue and lend a shoulder. This is what the film is about. It is necessary to note the very simple and at the same time sincere soundtrack and music used in it, and very interesting camera work. This is an amazing story from the northern polar latitudes. The color of the area depicted in the film is captivating. I urge you to watch and deeply analyze this film.